Hey champs, the topic of rag has been buzzing for quite some time and today I'll show you how to easily integrate a rag into your N8N workflow using Pinecone. Go to pinecone.io and create a free account for prototyping. You'll see the welcome menu. On the left side, you'll find the various tabs and below them your token usage, so you can track your activity right away. I already have an account, so I'll go straight to my personal dashboard. Under this account, I already have an API key that I'll use for the N8 and RAG workflow. I received it by default, but you can also generate a new one by clicking plus create API key in the top right corner. I've also already created an assistant. When we go to the assistant called Demo Rag, click on the folder icon in the right toolbar. This is where you can upload your file. You can choose any PDF you're interested in, business topics, learning materials, or a hobby. I've already updated my agent, but in the beginning it looks like this. The file I want to analyze is the EUAI Act, simply because compliance is a big topic in the EU right now and I highly recommend you get familiar with it if you plan to serve EU clients. Next, I go into perplexity to see which articles of the AI Act might be most relevant. Then I set up the RAG directly in the Pinecone Assistant Playground chat. I ask, what are high-risk AI systems? And it instantly outputs the content from Article 6. Perfect. Since everything looks good, let's move to the actual automation in N8N. To demonstrate how powerful the Pinecone integration is, we'll stay within prototyping and inside the N8N chat. We start with a chat trigger, attach an AI agent and leave it as is. Deliberately without a system prompt. We want the raw responses, no pre-processing, just direct LLM access. We then attach the chat model to the AI agent and define a post request webhook as the tool. This will call the Pinecone API. If we leave it like this, the automation won't work yet. So here's the simple way to do it correctly. In your Pinecone UX, click on the code button, switch to shell. You then scroll down to the section, chat with your assistant. I copy the JSON script and in N8N, use the import curl button to paste it. In 8 n we'll automatically configure the webhook. Super convenient, seamless and great for quick setup. Of course, you still need to set your credentials to establish the connection with your Pinecone rag. Just use your API key. To get you started right away, I've provided the JSON you can use one-to-one. -one. Make sure to embed the function from AI properly. If you want, pause the video and copy the JSON script. The expression from AI is dynamically populated by the N8N agent in this process. Now the workflow is ready and we're starting the N8N rag agent. In the chat bottom left, I type, explain to me what article 16E says. The agent runs the workflow successfully and returns an output that precisely matches the article, no hallucinations. That's impressive. We open the output and see our token usage. It's quite high. 22k tokens is a lot and that's because of the large document. After 3 to 4 queries, I already reached around 93,000 input tokens. This happens because the rag call sends certain parameters, including the full PDF text, to the model. The larger the document, the higher the token consumption. So I go back to perplexity, fetch the latest AI updates relevant to me, export them as a PDF, upload that new file to my Pinecone assistant and remove the EU AI Act PDF to prevent further retrieval from it. Then I test the Pinecone webhook node again. The output is successfully generated. I ask a few more questions in the chat and the results now come with much lower token usage. You can run your outputs again after adding a system prompt to your AI agent and perform your own A-B testing that way. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments.